Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Christian. Welcome back to another RF Online Play Park video. We are in the Desolation server of the Korra Alliance, and for today, um, we'll just have a basic tutorial about RF Online. So we are going to talk about what are you supposed to PT with your character, okay? So let's get started. So when you press C on your keyboard, you get to see the stats of your character. So it starts with your general info and status info like your attack HP. And once you get to the third bar, you get to see ability info and there are combat stats here. So let's talk about what these are. Well, for the crafting, crafting of weapon, shield, and armor, you can only PT these if you are a spec. So in my case, this is a warrior, a Zealot class, so I can't PT that. Um, let's go ahead to this. This first one, melee, basically it's, um, you need this to use, like, higher level melee weapons. So if you look at my weapon, it's a level 60 weapon. You need your close range skill to be GM. So there, it's GM. Um, it, if this is your main class, like you're a warrior, you, you don't need to grind your melee PT because just use your weapon and you, you'll be able to PT this very easily. So no problem with this. Next up is the range. So you you need this if you want to use like higher level range weapons like bows and guns and throwing knives. So it's not really like a requirement. Well, way back in the level up days, people used to PT this so that they can use ranger armors up to level 43. But nowadays in Play Park, you don't need to. But I just like to PT it. So if you look at it, the maximum is 66 so you can use level 43 armors so it's not really a requirement but if you want to grind it it's okay next up here's the summon pt for the core alliance this is actually um, a race specialty skill or pt only summoners can grind this or only summoners have this and for summoners, they don't have to actually grind it. They just need to use their summons. So if you press U on your keyboard, there just use your Paimon and Isis and those other summons and this will PT. It's the same with the Acretia launchers. They have Lao PT. They just need to use their launchers or flamethrowers. And for the Bilato, the Mao, unit i think it's called unit they just need to use their mao and they will be able to pt it next force okay so i actually did a video about this previously um here in the core alliance it's actually very important because we need your force pt to be gm to be able to use high level staffs so in the old days, it's not needed, but now it's very important. We use it to PT and PL, and basically there's another video I did about this. So I'll just post a link in the description. So you, you can PT this by using Force or Magic. Just go to your Force NPC there in your HQ click on the npc item trade and just read so that you'll be buying the right force so there just get one of these like firewall okay let's try to buy one because i don't have this and read the description and just right click and it goes there and you can just drag it here so you can use it so that's it um next up shield pt you need this 
to be able to use high level shields okay so this shield is level 57 you need gm shield and for this it actually kind of hurts in the beginning of the game because you need to get yourself hit by monsters and it will cost a lot of health potions and a lot of in-game money but you need to grind this so you can use shields and in the end game of rf online it's gonna save your life and last one defense it's almost the same with shield you just need to get hit by monsters and from what i know it increases your hp so the higher defense g uh, pt the higher your hp is okay so anyway let's head on down to a low level character that i just made so we can find out where to pt these skills so let's log out from my main character and we will check out the ranger i just made out of boredom <laughs> okay and i'm gonna explain a little more about which skills to grind so we are in the main login page so just type in your fire guard password and as you can see i have a vacant slot here and here's my low level level 24 i just made I think a few hours ago so let's enter and let's talk about which to grind let's just wait for it to load and there so we are in the harem stockade map here's my low level and she is actually a ranger initial class and i'm planning to like be a pure class ranger and i am currently grinding these so in my case i'm a ranger and i won't be needing to pt my me melee skills so it's still zero and i'm not planning to put anything here next up the range so I just used my range weapons and it's PT summon, no need for this. And force, I'll just gradually uh, PT these. So as you can see, as early as level 20, 24, I'm already starting to PT my shield because it kind of gets harder when your level is higher and the monsters get stronger. So now let's ask um, let's answer the question of where to PT your skills. So just, it's actually very simple. Just press J on your keyboard. It shows your journal and you got yourself some quests here. See, I have two. You get quests every time you level up. And here is stockade safe. Basically, you just need to follow where your quests takes you and what monsters to kill and these monsters will give you the most pt so you you'll be able to grind easily so just buff up and right now my quest is the anabala so these monsters will like give me the most pt so press t on your keyboard and press this button here make sure your pt message is on so you're you'll see if it's increasing so there i just got hit and uh, my shield skill increased see that every hit my range pt increases so this is kind of the like for some people it's the boring part of rf online the grinding part when you're still a low level but in my case it's okay it's um very simple and well i like grinding in games so this is okay so there i just pt while doing my quests and i just need like a few more of these anabolas and it will also help um if you have some cash points buy one of these I, the 
either the turncoat service token this is on sale for this week or the phlegm premium service or there's the other one here cartella and it's good for one month so anyway any of these tokens because if you look at the description it increases their xp pt which is this and many other things like mining and those things um, this one increases it for seven days so you just buy it and it goes to your inventory don't it it will automatically takes effect once it's there and your pt xp and mining will double so that's it um basically just grind it out at the beginning and pt what you need to pt so when you're in the higher levels all you have to do is like farm or level up your character or just pvp anyway it will only take you a few hours of playtime to pt these and you can go ahead to the exciting part of rf online play part so that's it um for the force pt um I, i'll just pt it so eventually i can get it to gm so anyway um i'll just continue grinding my character uh, i hope uh, you learned something from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give a like if you like the video comment down if you have questions share to your friends and as always subscribe for more rf online content so my name is christian see you again in another rf online play park video goodbye